What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Hmm. Didn't we have that yesterday? Or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's. With apple do's. Oh, I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. No offense to you. I'm just getting a little bit tired of the apple dews. Well, I, I guess we'll just have to go for another forage, in case we missed anything. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah, it does seem like it took some damage upon landing, but I should be able to fix that real quick. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Say it again to my face. With the lights off? Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice. <gasps> I'll come with you. Over there, a flow thread. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. How many more do you think we need? I don't know. Three? Maybe four? Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here.
think drifting is that useful? It's crucial. It allows you to change direction without having to stop. Apple juice again. Who knows how long we're going to be stuck here. We might as well stock up. I'm taking the lead. Whoops. Try again. Yes! Just like that. One or two more threads and we'll be all set. Alright, I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. the wrong way well that was a bust we were too slow no biggie plenty of threads out there Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. And I know it wasn't here yesterday. I mean, 24 hours ago. You know what I'm saying. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. Up first, we'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Hmm. It's peppery. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Hmm. <coughs> oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. It isn't ripe yet. This is so slow. We're not going anywhere. So? We'll need to wait a little bit for it to grow. This 
is a pretty one. All good. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Done. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us, us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? We are going to need to at some point. We need to be prepared. We need a plan. I'm planning on finishing my plate without hearing about the apiary. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. Wow, these floating islands are really something. Yeah, never imagined I would ever see this. you need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. Huh. <sighs> Do you think it's time to go to bed? If you say so. You? Uh... uh I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on, are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Uh... Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are, is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astro lock, even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be far away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> Well, take me in your arms for a start.
You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. You can stay if you want. You get some rest, and I'll gather provisions. I don't mind. But staying here alone sucks. So, you'll come with me? Or you could stay. And you go get food? What? No. Then, who? Ugh, all right. Never mind. I'll get dressed. Let's go. Wow. These floating islands are really something. Yeah. Never imagined I would ever see this. Do you remember where the apple dews were? Could we try and pick some? Something else for a change? Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. Well, except... <sighs> oh, I think the nest is done. Yeah, but that's our home. <sighs> that's true. It is our home. Look. We can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I don't know. A, a rope. A jetpack. Spring-loaded shoes. Anything. I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. I think I found something. Huh? <gasps> Call me crazy, but this looks like a bluten. Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here. But 
smaller? Is that possible? Why not? We, we still don't really know how the flow bridges worked in space, but if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushrooms on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. Don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way of Mother Nature's plans. I'll make sure I remember that next time you have salad stuck in your teeth. I'm not sure our boots will fare too well in the water. Oh, could they get damaged? No way. They're waterproof. But you won't exactly grip the track underwater. This is where we came from. All right, I know. Seems like our mini flow bridge wasn't a unique occurrence. Good, because. Actually, what is that? We should take a closer look. back to the nest to study it. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? I'm a biologist. Isn't that the same thing? Biology, the living, geology, the rocks. And what makes you think this is not living, pray tell? Uh, it looks like a dust deposition. 
some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way, look. It looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. Another flow bridge. That's great. It means there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. We should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Does, according to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. High seismic activity? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. Here, we found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hold on. We, we punch in some coordinates really at random. Only by some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right. But we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You, we are the luckiest people in the universe. That's, that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life with our own rules, away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. What did you say this planet was called again? Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Whoa, what a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax, if you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed.
You okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. For real? It used to happen when I was a teenager. You feel something weighing on your stomach? Yeah. On my chest. What was it? I don't know. I used to call it the ball. Because sometimes it felt like a huge ball was crushing me. Oh. No, that didn't happen to me. I wouldn't wish it upon you. For me, it resolved itself when I left the foster home. For you, it may be related to the nest. But I don't want to leave the nest. That's not what I meant. You're stuck to the bed. The nest is stuck to the ground. There must be something in that. You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now- Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. 